Magavan and, and well met. I am Arake Galadirthin, head of Divide and Conquer, and here now with our next instalment of our Northern Dunedain campaign. Now, one of the most prolific modders alongside me at the moment on mod on uh, Divide and Conquer is Hummingbird, who appears every now and then in some of my videos as Sparrowing One, and he has informed me that I have made a grave error in trying to hold back Dunland and Angmar in the, at the same time, um, and I fear that he may well be correct. Yes, so. Um, I shall do what I can now in an attempt to try and create peace with Dunland. I had hoped that the fact that Ennard Wyeth had attacked Dunland would allow us to settle our differences in the manner that, yes, well, basically, in that Ennard Wyeth would destroy them for me. However, that's not happened, and as you can see, I'm being besieged by a large army Come of Dunlendings. And, and I have a reasonably small army. It's Be not gone. looking good. Um, so that's going to be an interesting turnout. Um, some brief recap of the previous battle. We just had a few border wars with Angmar and uh, and Dunland, and we've just tried to keep them at bay. And we've consolidated our, Fornost, our forces in Fornost. And we are going to take this small opportunity orders, to take Halbarad and a small Your army orders. to our Lord, west and take a Numenas once and for all. And that's all. Um, I'm sure, if you, in, in case you haven't seen the earlier videos, because one of them was an hour long, and I apologise for that. But uh, unfortunately, Aragorn died. So that's a bit of a bummer. And then quite quickly after that, uh, Gandalf the Grey died. So now we're down to Gandalf the White, who unfortunately is not a family member of ours, as um, Gandalf the Grey died in battle some time ago. So it's not gone too well. But we are making quite a bit of money, and that is going well for us. So we crack on. Nought point five one as you're watching this video um has should have been out for a few days now. Um I hope that there aren't any too many bugs for you, too many issues for you. Ah, oh, we go to war. We're all on hand again to give a hand if there's any need if you need us to. On Total War Center and Mod D B. We bring the battle to the enemy. But also create an installation video guide if you haven't seen that, do check that one out to install 0.51. But more importantly, please do have a view of the Disable UAC Guide, um, because that one is very important. Disabling the user account control is really crucial to ensuring that games on Med2 work well, because Windows unfortunately does not trust this game, so we have to change features and whatnot to, assure, to allow Windows to actually play it. So, if possible, do have a view of that and do disable your user account control. Right, now they don't have any cavalry, so stakes are of no use to us. So, we are going to try and again hold this central area. I don't like defending on the walls, I don't think it really works. And as soon as the enemy breaks through, they push for the square anyway. So, when you're vastly outnumbered like this, it's worthwhile trying to get your archers to get most of their arrows off down the road there. And that is what we hope to do here. So, fortunately, the pathfinding in this settlement is a bit off. And the units don't actually go where you want them to. As we will shortly see. Yes, there we are. They refuse to go any further forward than that, for some reason. So, we'll speed it up. Well, they're not enjoying moving either. Everyone's having a bit of a glitchy day. The enemy have ladders Just run them the forward walls. and hold. Repel oh, the attackers. Give them the enemy are battering down the gates! I've sped the it up just so that we crack through all of these m menial moments. We need them to break through before we start worrying about them. We don't the want them to fire at will just yet. Gates. Because they waste all of their arrows the on one no unit. We want them to group up as much as possible. Them. And then start shooting just into the group. And that maximises our damage range. Which is all that we can hope for here. Right, they're coming down in... Go on them. And now the battle begins. I don't have much hope for our victory here. We are better than the Dunlendings. We outclass them greatly. But... It all depends on how well these guys can survive and then the Cardinal Swordsman behind because the Dunedain Rangers in battle aren't very good but the Dunedain Wardens however are very good so if we can keep these alive then hopefully that is how we're going to do it but this is pretty much everywhere they are flanking which is never good to see 
and our archers are shooting trying to do that stupid arcing shot into them who's moving around our flank oh please no no F fail to plan and you plan to fail says General Alexander from Command and Conquer Generals and she is right because I should have put stakes down and those two units would have been completely destroyed when they rode through the gate oh that's annoying that's very annoying at the minute they seem to be coming at us in fits and starts they're breaking through in slow attacks oh well all we can hope to do here is hold and see what happens ideally we want our rangers to bring down one of their stronger units but the units at the gate are out of range and again they're not actually attacking us for some reason so we might be able to win this on a timer victory if they bug out again bring down some of those horsemen oh look at that they fall like kindling they must not be very good at all. Oh yes, yeah, seven. Oh, that's awful. Three armor, two defense, two shield. Sun lendings really aren't as good as the Rohirrim. And they've stopped flanking as well. They've decided that's not the way forward. Sun and Spearmen have gone into Y formation <laughs> in an attempt to stop the archers doing as much damage, which is interesting. Who are the ones that are doing the arcing shot? Oh, those guys. Right, let's turn them off fire at wheels, stop them. We'll get you guys to spread out a bit there. You just spread out a bit more in the middle. And you can spread out a bit more at the back. Speed it up. And then fire at will. Oh, you're not doing it again, are you? I think they are. They think they are. That's very irritating. Shoot the farmhand. And then those units will get caught in the crossfire there, the outlaws. Still got half our arrows to go, so we should take down a reasonable amount. We've killed 22%. We've lost 10. They're about to be charged. But the cavalry shouldn't get too much of a bonus, because they are spearmen. Is that their general as well? Which one is their general? Ah, uh, no, he's the one just behind. No, I think the horseman might be the general, actually. Let's try and find him. Oh, yes, look, there he is. Oh, then with any luck, we can kill their general, which will really take... They'll take a huge morale hit if their general dies. Oh, no, the Dunherd champions are coming. They are the threat. They're the enemy we want to deal with. Oh, everything's coming. It's all triggered. And they've still got quite a lot of their horsemen left alive. Our units are falling. You're going to have to charge in because you're getting shot. Oh, I didn't realise they'd flanked around the side. <laughs> no! I pray something changes in the course of battle. For the feat seems almost certain. The unit coming from that way too. Ah, at least our enemy general has fallen. Those berserkers are good against armour. They frighten nearby enemy infantry. Ah, oh, no. And they have an 8 attack. Ah, oh, they are incredible. They've just got no armour. Our general lies slain upon the battlefield. Oh, no. <laughs> I was hoping we might be able to claim this using our superior skill and wait them out but it would appear that it's not going to go that way hmm. Sarvad is so key to keeping Dunland out of this war and if Enidwyth do do well against Dunland and they do manage to take a few regions they'll squeeze Dunland and Dunland will then burst out across the river even more And that's to our lands. Although I suppose we could ignore this. We could just completely abandon Tharbad and um, 
Bree then will then deal with Dungeon. Fighting on three fronts, our units are falling by the <laughs> droves. We did make some of the enemy flee there. The feat seems almost certain. We've lost oh, that David Dine's taking that man out though, that's cool. I do like the animations, the animations make it so much more fun to watch the game this close up. Especially when you're at a stage like this where there's nothing really more I can do. The Duna die need to hold their ground and they, they won't, so it's a ma only a matter of time before they die. The main column needs to hold its ground and also they won't. So really now it's just a case of finding cool units to look at. Accepting that you've lost is key to uh, some of these games really. And then you can just enjoy the action of your men versus these other men. Doing horrendously, but we are now starting to get. We've almost got 50%. That is good. Who are these javelin throwers? Huntsmen. seems almost certain. Oh, it really isn't going well, is it? It's only a matter of time now before it's all over. Pushing down the middle, our numbers are going down. The Cardinal and Sentinels are holding out quite nicely though, which is good to see. It's the Dunher champions with their heavy two-hand mace looking thing. I'm sure there's a medieval name for that weapon. Of course in Lord of the Rings the most intricate weapons you really ever get told of are swords, spears, and at a push maybe the Witch King's heavy mace thing, but Although the Numenorians did have steel bows and they were famed for their um, the fierceness of their archers. What are we on now? Oh, we've at least killed 50%, that's good. Spearmen facing off against 11 more Dunedain over there. Fourteen wardens pushed to the side. The Hetty Garden and Sentinels, oh they're starting to lose numbers. Speed it up a little as we race to now our impending and inevitable doom. Our first unit of Dunedain have gone. Our foe has taken control. Second unit of Dunedain have gone. Our army is tiring. We have got six men left. Ah, uh, no, the Cardinal and Sentinels are bro broken. Uh, at least the Javelin throws will take some of their own men with them. Oh, they uh, are trying to run. Oh, the AI can sometimes be annoying. Let's say this battle ends quickly so we stop hearing the March, 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 March! Onward, onward! Who's going to be the one to take him down? My money's on the spear guy. Oh, blinded strike from the uh, captain Delta there. Stinging defeat today. And the Dunlendings have claimed it. We took a lot of them with us though, and that is something to certainly be proud of. Very proud of indeed. And that was only in the end turn, that's irritating. The Knights of Dol Amroth and the hardiest garrison stood at bay. Siege of Gondor. 
Ah. Battle of Azul, Anul Bazaar in the background. So they've claimed Northern Tharbad yet again. Let's reinforce Arakthur and um, Arakthur. Change that and uh, hope that the Breeland come to our aid is all we can really hope for now. Um, yes, we'll take on some members of the family. Let's rename that to Thur due to the lenition that I forgot to add in the first time, which is how Sindarin words are made up. Get extra units there, please. Oh, look how much money we've got now. We'll train another bodyguard unit. Maybe 32 turns before we get another one of them. Yes, my lord. Gandalf is leading those units. Oh, yeah, he Time abandoned us, didn't he? You. Your orders, my lord. Yes. Watch tower this tower Maybe will give it your will, my lord. He's made yes. it all the way down. But it will be uh, three turns before they're ready. Rayos can't train anything just yet. The Angmarim are probably going to try and attack that. Kamath Bryn's getting more units. Oh, take those as well. Yes, please. And Fornost. Oh, we don't seem to have too many yes, issues with Fornost. Well, Amleth is on his way down here to yes. try and reclaim that. We shall continue tomorrow. Oh, Breland liked me a lot. Maybe, Your just orders, maybe, they Lord. will go to our aid and Honor attack Dunland. To battle. As long as someone who we're allied with has control of that, um, of the crossing of Tharbad, that's all. Uh, that's all that matters to me. I wonder maybe if we could get peace with them. Yes, that's all they say. Best be worth our time. Oh, it's only demanding now. We could probably. Mm, we could probably. Maybe make a single payment. Give them a grand. See if that does it. I must no. say we are. We hope for more fruit without question. Oh well, we should try and spy on them. See what happens. We shall end the turn and then end the video just after that. The battles take such a long while that often the campaign, the video of the campaign itself is normally, I mean we've covered what, two turns in a 20 odd minute video? But it's nice to keep them short and snappy, um, mostly because I make the videos and I also enjoy watching them myself, which is a bit egotistical, but um, it sounds so different to how I think my voice sounds that it's just quite interesting to listen to yourself back. But um, I like to watch YouTube videos that are around 20 minutes to half an hour or so, to, and I watch them over lunch or I watch them over tea and, and dinner and breakfast and whatnot. And so I'd like to think that other people do the similar sort of thing. Yes, my lord. Get the lumbermen into Amun Sul, where they can be defended. Ah, Gorshag is heading down to join the crusade. That is good news. We've got a general who will be with us in a second. We've built everything in Arayost. What is I'm that unit? Unit you know, of goblin you. trackers. Um, oh, and Angmar are coming back for Fornos. Your orders, my lord. But it is a As little concern on, to us. We shall prevail. The there. They'll be able to hold yes. what they have now. Even more units are available thanks to that lumber camp. Um, right, so we shall take Gandalf and we'll kill yes, those goblin lord. trackers who are making their way towards With us. Honor. Yes. Making camp here. And then Pitcher. we shall Your end the video after that. Construction just for us. Maudush. Gandalf the Grey now has Arthurdine Royal Knights or Royal Guard, a remnant of Arthurdine's lineage. These guys are incredibly strong, very heavily armoured, very, very good attack, and an incredible For charge, the moment, the and Gandalf at their head. Goes our way. Let's pray it remains as such. There he is, Gandalf the White now, as Gandalf the Grey unfortunately died. We now have the first of the Astari. Or is that Fist? No, it is first. Oh, yes, I suppose now he's Gandalf the White. He's more important than Saruman, isn't he? Oh, look how few there are. This is not even a battle. This will be a one charge battle. Let's turn all that off. Brace yourselves for the carnage that is about to ensue. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. You better be charging units. Here they go. Straight into the line of the trackers. 95 down to. 70-60 changing to their swords across the board and our men have changed to their swords if we continue like this we will smash the enemy and now it is unfortunately because they're archers they try and run away when you get too close and it makes the charge of the cavalry not as effective 
Um, the enemy are badly we can do about that, I'm afraid. I don't think we will lose a single man, to be honest. Charge everyone through to the other side, and then attack. The enemy army flees. So the let field. any get away. Pursue and run them down. Oh, we lost one man. Um, but we got them this all. This is a clear victory. And there we are. And that's the eighth instalment. More little border wars as we gather our forces and try to... Um, soon, well, as soon as we've got a Numenas, we'll press hard into the lands of Angmar and we'll try and capture them so then we can turn our attention down south toward Dunland and then Isengard in turn. But at the moment, we're just defending our lands and consolidating... Oh, Honor yes, get again that adopted. And as we try to keep them out of the lands that we do currently own. But that'll be all for this video, so thank you very much for watching. I'm Marikia Galadirth and Head of Divide and Conquer. And for now, Navar Naden Pedimad, and farewell.